Right then, hello YouTubers. Today, I've got something special to show you. I'm here to update on my current collection of weaponry and other craft projects and such that is going on at the moment. Okay. First off, I want to show this glove, which I'm making because, uh, well, I'm tempted to make like a half-breed dragon costume thingy, like a half dragon. This is the start. It's an old leather glove with some red electrical tape. It's a bit of a messy job at the moment, but it works. And that three taloned dragon's hand. Uh, uh. It's two fingers taped together for each one on the glove. And uh, yeah, that's an old other glove. I'm always going to extend this to make it get a long sleeve shirt over it or something. So I'm going to make the other one for the other hand, which is currently free. But I know I might sleep it at the one hand and just do the arm like draconic, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, on to the bit the people have been waiting for. Well, not for very long anyway. The weapons. I will start with this one. This one is based off Soul Calibur. Uh, I think it's four. It had a red bladed katana in it. So there you go. It is edged. If you can see that, the blade is edged. A bit of a rough, uh, uneven cutting edge, but who cares? More than unique. The old katanas are never perfectly straight anyway. They're always hand forged, so uh, I can't really pose much because the fans are. I don't want to hit anything with it, but this is made out of wood. All these weapons are out of wood with several different kinds of tape covering them. Let's see the, the cross guard that to be done. Is it the Suba? Or uh, the Tseo, whatever the flip it's called. I don't know Japanese sword terms. But this is gaffer tape on the handle. The same electrical tape on my glove is on the blade. All the way up and the tip. It took a while to do that, but yeah. That's the first of the weapons. It's got a nice grip, even without the glove. It's got a nice grip on it. I can wield it in one hand. But it's better to see this thing. It's quite big. I mean, if I switch the floor, that's what it comes to. It's about stomach height. But chest height, fairly big blade, and I will be attempting to make a sheath this thing before long. This, I suppose you could say, is based off the Dragon Longsword out of RuneScape. It is quite similar in terms of design. It's got a similar, apart from the tip that comes far back, like a Dragon Longsword comes out here somewhere, but similar colour scheme to a Dragon Longsword, black handle, red blade. But it's based, it's inspired by Soul Calibur, but I just realised it could be like a Dragon Longsword off RuneScape, but well. This one it's actually my last katana I ever made. It's my latest katana. I have one more weapon that I've made since then, but this is my latest one, katana. Right, from the latest to the first. This one here is the first ever wooden sword I made. I made plenty of cardboard ones, but this is the first wooden one. Uh, it's made out of some thick wood. This one's ridiculously thick. This one's quite thin. You can see compared to the two. This one's ridiculously thick compared to the other one. It's also a little shorter. This one's a bit longer, handle and blade wise. But this was my first, I didn't have the tool I had then, I cut it out with a hand saw, like a proper thingy saw, wood saw. The handle is electrical tape, the blade is duct tape, and this is for some foam I found, the cross guard. Again, it's a nice blade, easy to one hand on the last one, but again I'd recommend two hands on most of these swords. All these swords apart from one, I'd recommend two hands. Uh, yeah, this one's the first one sword I made. If you look carefully, you can't really see it now, but there's a crack under the wood where I accidentally split the top off when I hit something with it. Hit a metal pole and split the top off. Next, I my second ever katana. This one's not painted, it's just a uh, oil finish. We put some WD 40 on it. It's got a weird handguard. I uh, wanted to make something like a bit of a basket handguard, so that's that. Once again, the blade is edge. This one's a rounded edge rather than a sharp edge, so I can actually use this one for fighting, but I wouldn't because it's breaking apart. I'm quite proud of this one. There's a bit of a tip missing, you see. A bit of a tip missing when I hit something again. It's off the ground when I hit that. Again, it's pretty big. I think it's a bit bigger than the other one. Let's see, let's check this one. Size with it. Oh no, about the same height. About the same handle length at all, that's pretty clever. Alright, so obviously it's a bit bigger than the other one. <laughs> Hope the camera hasn't died. It says it's on battery, so there's the other one in comparison. It's a bit lower than the other one. This one again is pretty, this one's my lightest katana, I think. Really easy to one hand, weight wise, not due to its length. It's quite a long blade, hence why I've got the big handle for two of them. <laughs> now, this is the latest one I've been making. It's not a katana, it's a keyblade. This is my Character Corey Sullivan, cookie if you get the references, Keyblade, for his blazer form, the Draconic, draconic Birthright. So it's a sword, it's meant to be a sword, with dragon wings here and here. It's going to have like a dragon's head on the keychain. This one is my favourite weapon at the moment. It's great to grip, it's got great grip. I'm not used to gripping it with this glove, but it's a great grip. The blade is once again edged. And on this side, with the detail done. So you see, it's indented all here, this is all indented. A chisel, took a chisel to it, and that took forever. These ones took even worse. I had a few splits here and there, but we managed to salvage it. This is rounded off with a with a file and a uh, sander. It's all chiselled out and then sanded, with a sander as well. 
Uh, blade edged, both sides done. Not me to do the detail on the other side so far, but it's going to be an eye here, which is not in the original design. It's going to be an eye for that Riku's Soul Eater, or Breed of Dawn, or whatever, just there. Black with a killer scheme. All the indented parts are black. I mean, red, get it right. Handles black. The wing membranes, the fingers themselves are black. The blade is, and the blade is silver. I can put a picture of it up on. If you want, this thing is my favourite weapon. It's really light, really easy to one hand, like most keyblades should be, but there is enough space just. In a weird configuration, get both hands on it if you have to. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry for the lack of music or anything. I don't have my computer. My computer's on, but not working. Well, I don't have a YouTube up yet, so. Um, yeah, this is my weapons. So, once again, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this one. Say any suggestions for the three katanas if you want. This one's like my foot. This one needs a name. This one needs a name. I know you like, if you like to name weapons, you can name these ones for me. Sounds like a wooden sword, I guess. This one needs a name, my second katana, first katana, that was my second one. This one already has a name, this is Draconic Birthright, used by Corey Sullivan in my Kingdom Hearts fanfic. If you get where I got the name Corey Sullivan from, you get a cookie, props to you. And, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll give you a clue, it's a rock metal reference. Okay, I hope the camera's working. See